Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series here. Now I will show you how you can create your first recommendations and transfer to the storefront via four widgets. And we have a dashboard here, click on the create recommendation button. And now you're in the create view for your first product recommendation or recommendation. And the first thing here, we can equip the recommendation um, within status. You can either set the status on active or paused, and like in the other add-ons, only active um, recommendations are displayed to your customers inside the storefront or inside your store. So for now, hit the status on active. And here we have the product and the recommended product section, which means first you have to select a product for which later on you can um, create here the recommended products for this other recommendation. So let me show this here. For example, we hit a smartphone here. And now for this smartphone here, we can add product recommendations or recommendations. So hit the search button. And we want to say we add some earbuds, some protection glass, this uh, power supply, and maybe headphones and a case. Add. And now these five products, as I said before, are the recommendations for this one smartphone here. And like in the other add-ons, if you see a price range here, for example, for the headphones, this means the headphones has different variants with different prices. And here we have one of the most important features of our recommendations or product recommendations, which is called affiliations. Affiliations are important if you, since we have, for example, or since we have um, four different widgets, two widgets on the product page, which is a, a two card pop up and a frequently bought together widget, and we have two widgets on the um, shopping cart page, which is a pop up when your customers hit the checkout button, and which is a simple product recommendation slider. We are this affiliations, you can split your, recomm your, your recommendations to the widgets. So imagine if you focus now on the product page and you, uh, you add um, a frequently bought together widget and a pop-up widget to the product page, then we are this affiliations, you can split the um, or distribute the um, recommendations here to the different widgets. So let me explain this a little in detail. For example, you want to say the, fir the, the first three products are accessories for the smartphone, then you can set them to accessories here. And maybe you want to set the headphones and, and or say the headphones and the case are frequently bought together for this smartphone. So hit them on frequently bought together. So now later on um, you can if you're in the theme editor which I show you later on so don't worry you can um, say the first three are I want to show in the uh, pop-up and these uh, headphones and the smartphone case I want to show in the frequently bought together widget. By the way, the name has nothing to do with the widget. Of course, in the uh, frequently bought together widget, you can also display um, recommendations which are tagged by uh, general or accessories. And however you want, um, you can also set maybe you want to give all the products general only. Or you want to say, uh, for example, the earbuds here are all three have all three affiliations. You can uh, create it however you want. So, but for this example, you only have this setup here. So again, to explain this now again in detail, you can split. We have affiliations. You can split or distribute the. Um, recommended products to different widgets inside your storefront we are the theme editor so for now if you are satisfied uh, with your setup here hit the save button and now you have created your first recommendation awesome 
which is displayed here in this list. Here we have the image and the name of your product and the recommended products for this smartphone here. Also, we have the status and the remove button. And if you want to create more recommendations, you can, of course, do it via the add recommendation button here. So now we'll show you or explain you how you can transfer this recommendation here to your storefront to present them to your customers. We have these four widgets. And as I said before, we have two widgets for the product page, which is um, a pop-up, which is uh, which appears if your customers click on the Add to Cart button on the product page. Then we have the um, frequently bought together widgets here, which, which can be placed freely on your product page. We have the theme editor. And we have a pop-up on the cart page here, which appears if your customers click on the checkout button. And we have a simple recommendation slider for the cart page. So for now, let's focus here on the um, pop-up or add to cart pop-up on the product page. So to activate the pop-up, hit the add to pop-up on product page button here. And now your pop-up is automatically activated via the theme editor inside your store. So this means our pop-up are technically no widgets. Uh, the pop-ups technically are called um, app embed blocks from Shopify, which means um, um, it's enough if you act activate them once for, for your global store. And after you have activated them, you only have to fill these required information here or these checkboxes. So let's focus on the checkboxes here. Um, first, we have the show upgrades um, flag here, which means you could also display upgrades in the uh, pop-up here, not only recommendations, by, but uh, upgrades I will show you at a later video of this series. So for now, um, focus on the recommendations here. First of all, you have the, to activate the show recommendations flag here. After this, now you can focus here on these uh, three checkboxes, which are um, for the affiliations. And now, um, now I could explain you what I have shown you. Uh, um, what I have shown you. With these uh, three checkboxes here, now you can split or divide the um, here the the, uh, the the product recommendations by affiliations. So this means now you can say, okay, I only want to show um, product recommendations which are marked by the accessories affiliation. So to do this, for example, hit the show accessories affiliations, and now in the pop-up for the smartphone here, only the uh, recommendations uh, which are marked by accessories I will display in the pop-up. And of course, you could only uh, you could also um, show all uh, accessories here if you want all uh, affiliation if you want. So, but for now, on uh, to explain you the functionality, I only want to show um, product recommendations for the smartphone, which are. Um, by the accessories affiliation. So if you are um, satisfied with the settings here, you can hit the save button here. And of course, also uh, we have a layout functionality um, where you can display the recommendations in the in a list or in a grid design or layout. But for now, let's uh, explain you the functionalities here. So now, if your customers open your store and um, enter the um, product page of the smartphone. And now if they click on the Add to Cart button here, the pop-up automatically displayed and show, showing you the, um, as I have configured here, showing you the recommendations which are tagged by um, the accessories affiliation for the smartphone. And of course, maybe if you want to also play, uh, display um, the, the smartphone case and the headphones, which are tagged by the affiliation frequently bought together. Then you could go back to your theme editor, hit these uh, show frequently bought together affiliation checkbox here, save again. 
And now if your customers reload your store here and click again on the add to cart button now you can see you see all recommendations for your smartphone awesome so now we'll show you how you can um, um, get your recommendations uh, to the frequently bought together widget on the product page um, and present them to the to your customers inside your storefront via this widget here. And first of all, uh, I would say the frequently bought together widget is a I would say checkbox based widget. Companies like Amazon use this principle to increase their AOV. So for now, if you want to um, add these uh, widget to your product page, again, hit the green button here. And now you can see the uh, frequently bought together widget is automatically placed inside your scene editor. Awesome. And again, you see, like in the other widgets of the uh, app, this is only the preview content, which you can see by the blue, blue banner here and by the demo or preview data. Um, this uh, is only a placeholder for your theme editor. And it's not shown to, to your customers inside your storefront. And of course, it's because you have not selected the right product here in the theme editor. Before we have created this recommendations for the smartphone, so you have to select the right product, in this case, the smartphone uh, here in the, in the theme editor. So hit the change here and change your product template or your product to the smartphone. And now you can see your real recommendations inside the frequently bought together widget. Awesome. So if you click here on the left on the widget, um, you see the settings are open. You can give uh, the um, widget a headline. You can enable a quantity selection for the single products here. You can um, set the um, design or the layout to either a basic uh, layout, which is this here, or you can set it to a table layout, which is then presented like this. But for now, let's uh, hit it on basic. And here again, we have the uh, three toggles or checkboxes for the um, affiliations we have created before. Um, we only now we only want to display um, for recommendations for the smartphone which are marked or tagged by the affiliation frequently bought together. So this this fits uh, fine now. So and of course, you could not only like in all other widgets of the whole app. You could not only place the widget here via the automatic button, you could also add them freely or manually by adding a section here and select the uh, frequently bought together widget. And not only on the default product here, um, you could also add the uh, widgets to a custom product template. So if you created have created one, you can select your custom product here and then fill in the uh, widgets so but for now let's to explain the functionality in your real storefront if you are satisfied with this section or the settings here hit the save button if your customers now open the smartphone page they can see your widget here and as i've explained before this is a checkbox based um, functionality or have a checkbox based functionality like Amazon and other big companies. This means um, your customers can decide which product or recommendations they want to uh, buy in addition. So they can maybe they only want to um, um, buy the headphones in addition, then they can deselect the case here or they can deselect both or however they want. After they select um, their correct products, they can add them via the Add to Cart button here. So, so now we'll explain you how you can add your recommendations to the pop-up on the cart page to present them to your customers. And as I said before, the cart page pop-up appears if your customers click on the checkout button in the shopping cart page 
to go further to the checkout process. So to activate the pop-up, again, click here on the green Add to pop-up on card page button now. Let's do this. And now the pop-up is automatically activated. And like at the same pop-up, the pop-up for the card uh, for the product page, this is technically not a widget. It's called app embed block, which means again you only have to activate the pop the pop-ups once, and then uh, it's um, configured or activated globally for your whole store. And after you have activated the pop-up, you only have to fill in the required fields here which are the recommendations and the card pop-up could only display recommendations so no upgrades so for this reason you will only see here the three checkboxes for the affiliations and let's say we want to only display um, products um, or product recommendations which are tagged by I would say for example accessories and we hit the flag here and we also can display the recommendations inside the pop-ups in a list or a grid system. After you, have, after, or after you are satisfied with your settings here, you can save these, uh, the um, settings here and the pop-up. And now we'll explain you the functionality, what happens in the storefront. So if your customers have um, the actual smartphone inside their shopping cart here on the cart page, which we have created before here, then there is a hit the checkout button. Boom, they will all, uh, automatically see the um, recommendations for the smartphone. In this case, the recommendations which are marked by the uh, affiliation here accessories. And for example, if you are customers or you have, uh, your customers have multiple products inside the shopping cart and click on checkout, the pop-up appears and the show all product recommendations for all the different products. Which means, for example, you have two or three or more product recommendations. All of the recommendations with the right affiliation will display here in the um, pop-up, which is very easy. And after your customers have selected, for example, some additional products here, they can remove or edit however they want. Um, you see the price price change here, and then they can uh, go further to the checkout to buy these products. Yes. So now we'll show you how you can add the recommendations to the recommendation slider widget on the cart page or shopping cart page. So for this again, hit the Add to Slider on Cart Page button to place the widget uh, the widget inside your theme editor. So let's do this for now. And now you can see your widget is automatically placed in the card page template of your theme editor. Awesome. And again, you see this is only a preview content like in the other widgets of the app. You can see it again here on the blue preview content banner and on the preview product data here. This is because, as I've said before, the recommendation slider and the recommendations inside the slider are only displayed um, if the right main product of the recommendation, in this case the smartphone, is inside the shopping cart. So don't worry, this uh, preview content here is not displayed to your customers inside your storefront. And here on the right side you have um, the different settings for the um, slider widget, which is a headline which will be appears here at the top of the slider. And here you have the three um, checkboxes or toggles uh, to fulfill the uh, slider widget with the right um, prior recommendations. So for this example, we want to say we only want to display recommendations um, which are marked by the affiliation accessories and frequently brought together. So activate the flag here and deselect the general flag. And in addition, um, of course, you could also place the widget here not only by the um, automatically step here, like in the other widget, you could also do it manually by adding a new section or block and uh, select the recommendation slider widget here. 
And if you are satisfied with your settings now, you can save it here in the scene editor. And now we'll show you the real functionality in the, your in your storefront. So assume your customers have now um, added the smartphone to your shopping cart here and open the uh, cart page. Then they will see automatically the right product recommendations inside this slider. Awesome. And now assume uh, if your customers have created or you have created uh, multiple um, recommendations here. Let's assume you have created two recommendations um, with two, of course, two main products, the smartphone here and uh, another main product. This means every time a main product is inside the cart, so in this case the smartphone and another main product from another recommendation you have created, for example, then all of the product recommendations for the um, main products are displayed inside the recommendation slider. So again, in detail, if you have created, for example, two recommendations, let's say the smartphone here, and for example, you have um, a camera as a main product with different recommendation products or recommendations, then if you have the smartphone here and the camera inside the shopping cart, then all of the um, product recommendations here are displayed inside the slider. Yes. And this was a small video section for the um, recommendations. In the next chapter or the next video of this tutorial series, I will explain you how you can create your first upsell, your first upgrade with this app. So see you guys.